Hey there YouTube, we're here with uh, Alan Fung here from Team Shockwave. I have a case opening of Invasion Vengeance. So, let's, looking forward to it, it'll be really awesome if you guys uh, want to follow and uh, watch this video. Uh, we'll see a lot of the polls, which is uh, totally awesome. And uh, <laughs> Dimensional Barrier, so the two biggest money cards, a Pot of Acquisitiveness, or formerly known as Pot of Avidity, is very huge in this um, set. As everyone thought it would have been secret rare just because of its usefulness, especially with the Dark Heroes, the Lure of Darkness, uh, Burning Abyss with Babar. Uh, there's a bunch of things that it can do. Um, I'm kind of happy that it's super rare in the sense that yeah, it's more available to uh, the player base. Um, although the ultra rares are not the best, secret rares are amazing. So um, this, we have that to look forward to. Uh, what else is there? Some some good support from the old archetypes, but can't say too much about it. Yeah. All right. Let's get right to it. All right, YouTube, we're gonna start uh, opening this case. This is, again, Yu-Gi-Oh! Invasion of Vengeance Booster. You can see it right here. Oh. It's right there. This knife is really sharp. I'm not kind of afraid. And it's not supposed to open it towards me, but, you know, whatever. Just got back from work. Uh, got out at like 8 o'clock, so. Oh my goodness! So again, some of the cards that we're looking for. Uh, part of acquisitiveness is one of the good ones. Um, however, you know, it's uh, what it is. I'm opening it from the side uh, just because I do not have enough space from the top. I'll try to get it as much as I can. All right, let's move them all up here. So, uh, I'm sure you guys know about the, the the thing with the mapping that had been said about the previous few sets here. Um, just because, you know, uh, I believe Konami has, uh, not Konami, I don't want to say that, but like, what, whoever distributes these things have this like layup for them. Oh, excuse me, that's my Pokemon Go. Put that away. It's gonna make too much noise. Alright, so let's see if this mapping thing is staying true for the last like three, four sets since Bosch came out. Alright. So, first top pack. It's going to be a super. Ten right here. Commons, separate pile. First pack, second pack. Secret rare! Oh my goodness. What is this? I don't even know half the things. So where's the ancient and ascended? So it's, again, it's the second pack. Let's see the second pack. It is a secret rare. If it's not, then I'll have to open all the packs. I'll be very sad. But whatever. Oh no! It's not! So that means all the packs are gonna have to be open until I open uh, all the secret rares. I believe the secret rares are the biggest money set cards here. Um, just because, oops, it's um, you know, that's how it how it rolls most of the time. I'm opening I'm opening these packs on top of this playmat that my uh, friend got me. Uh, it's pretty sick. Red eyes. Uh, what's it called? Red eyes. Mirror Force Dragon. Oh, yeah, Red Eyes Mirror Force Dragon. Uh, it's the older, like, Ayatomias format. The Seal of Warikaukos. Those are the fun days. I see a lot of packs opening dudes and dudettes. So, pull the Ultra Rare. Uh, it's a new archetype. Christians with Christians. Uh, some of my teammates have been talking about it, then we saw the, the deck profile and everything like that. It's pretty cool. 
Um, totally awesome! What? What? Just going right to sleep. All right. Luckily, I uh, cleaned up my room a little bit before, and I know where all my sleeves are. So, totally awesome! What? First box. I think I might just call it a day here. And just, uh, I mean, I think we got both the secret rares, right? Uh, so we can go on to the next box. <laughs> uh, let's get sleeping with all the secret rares. I kind of want to see the ratios too, but I mean, I don't want to waste more of the packs here. So let's skip right to it. Let's call this box a day. It also saves a little bit of time on the YouTube videos, especially with this many boxes around. Oh boy. Alright, I'm gonna use my, uh, my fancy schmancy knife. Uh, the trash goes right by my legs. So let's put these over here so you can see them. Put this away from me. Let's right to the next box. Again, we don't know where all the secret rares are. That box may contain more secret rares, but the thing is, I don't like chancing it, especially with pulling a totally awesome. So, you know, there goes that uh, chance. Let's see, let me separate all my halls and rares so that I know where they all are. Especially since rares can shoot up like $200. I'm just kidding. You know, cost could cost a few bucks here and there. Another secret rare! I'm gonna roll, baby! Level up done. Oh, there we go. What's that? Was that the first pack? Yeah, first pack was a secret rare. Um, it's the Venom card. There's an ultra rare right there. Let's check out this first pack here. See if some boxes may or may not be like that. So we'll see what happens. First pack. Nope. So they fixed, so Konami, not Konami, but like wh whoever prints these things out finally fixed it so that it's no longer matte. Uh, so, obviously, I'm not gonna get my free pluses today. Uh, I mean, it's, all, it's only fair, right? So the stores can't like uh, sell specific packs or players choose specific packs. Um, I've heard stories about that. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of unfair, but the thing is, you know, knowledge is power, as they always say, right? Um, some people may disagree, like, it's all about fairness, but, you know, if it's, like I say, well, let's not teach any corrupt moral stuff here. Uh, let's see. Well, there goes those two secret rares. I feel like I want to go through it and check out everything, but then again, you know, questionable. Here. The Venom Monster. Two, I think it's like two darks from anywhere in the field. On the field, I believe it's only for your side, but I'm not gonna question it. Let's see, super rares. Done with this box. This is gonna be more, I don't believe so. Um, on to the next one. Two down, ten more to go. So yeah, a good friend of mine from Ecuador got me this play map. Uh, so he said, uh, the only thing I, uh, you like, you'll get it only if you uh, play on it or uh, do stuff with it. You know, because if you get it and just put it in a box at home, which I do with a lot of my play mats, just because you know it's like kind of sentimental value. I don't want to ruin it, dirty it, or anything like that. Because I've heard that this uh, spellground kind of mat gives it a. Uh, weird thing where it rubs off really easily the ink on it especially on the cloth I mean the ink on the cloth doesn't work out very well I'm sure a lot of people know especially with spell grounds literally it would just um, spell grounds would lose a lot of this ink and I think Konami kind of understood that people love spell grounds and therefore uh, they will make these masks there it is part of acquisitiveness uh, Original Avidity, now Acquisitiveness. I feel like I'm gonna sleeve that up just because I think it's a very good card. 
I mean, a lot of people have been starting to use banished cards, especially face-up ones, and I feel like it's very important to draw one card, even if it's three of those. Like, uh, Burning Abyss could do that, and it's just like, it, it's very useful to even draw one card extra. And it also goes against the ABC Dragons to stop their uh, special summon play, so I believe. I'm not exactly sure of the Buster Dragons effect. Uh, I should. I'm going to read it up tonight just because I have the regionals to judge. So, you know, always, reading's always good as we learn from elementary school. I mean, not even elementary school. I don't feel like pre-K. You know, learn your ABCs. A is for Apple. Um, I'm sure you guys know there's a lot of support here. Oh, what? Dragon Core Hexer. I heard about this. This is a, like a huge tuner. Oh boy. Oh boy. I heard it's like a lure target and everything like that, especially a lure being at three. There's a way you can abuse it. Uh, I remember seeing that video uh, a while back. A while, while back. When they got released in OCG, they were just talking about it. Like we couldn't stop. I was like, ugh. It's a new Metapho monster. Uh, I believe I'm going to play Metapho, so I'm going to sleeve this up. Leave this one up too. Oh yeah, and so usually um, we would have sneak peek videos, and what happened with this sneak peek was that um, we couldn't get the uh, once we tra transferred the file. What happened was it just got corrupted. That was very very uh, disappointing uh, because you know obviously. We recorded it and then it just died on us. It's just like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, I should have copied it instead of just cut moving it. So that was my issue. And I, I you know. It's, ugh. Come on, Alan. Get your shit together. I can even open this pack correctly. Just talking about it makes me so sad. If you, if you notice, the, the secret rares aren't on, all on one side. So that's kind of very. Oof. Open all. I'm gonna might be having to open all the packs to get two secret rares, or even if I might get not get a secret rare. Who knows? Did not get a secret rare yet. Oh boy. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. Don't tell me the secret rares are the very bottom. All right. So if I get zero secret rares here, that means that secret rare may be in all those other boxes as well. I'm going to open two secret rares. Uh, that means there might be a third one, obviously, because that's what, I, that's what I said, right? Uh, so it looks like we opened all the ultras, mm -hmm. except for one. We get a little, get a little uh, nervous here. Another super. Come on, at least give me more pots. Inquisitiveness. At least I can flip those. There we go. There's one secret rare. So we got a secret rare and an ultra rare technically, right? So let's get let's hopefully get to it. My room's again in a, in a bit of a uh, cleanup phase right now. Is that a Pokemon? No. Oh, so it's just someone talking. Uh, sorry guys. Let's see here. Uh, there's the last ultra rare. So since now packs don't really care too much uh, where it is, I'm probably just gonna pull out all the packs in the box. All right, come on, dimensions, dimensional. Oh, he's thinking it's dimensional slice, but that's like the old school rare. It's dimensional barrier. Some new cyber angel stuff, uh, my friend. Oh, excuse me. Let's just eat dinner too. I'm going from work. Uh, I have angel cards. My friend's really looking into those. Uh, I think they're alright. I'm not exactly too hyped about cyber angels or anything like that. I'm not a huge hype guy. Hype train. Let's see. So that last pack's a secret rare. Any, any guesses? Uh, uh, that'd be totally awesome. <laughs> Oh boy, that name is gonna be like the most ridiculous thing. All right, I'm bending this totally awesome. It's like a grade of nine now. Oh no! What? What? Oh baby! So 
twenty dollars right there from two boxes, not three boxes. Totally worth it. Totally awesome. <laughs> you can take that out if you want. Sorry, Parker. Just, just has to do with those little bits. All right. On to the next box. I got my desk. I got this part here. Ooh. Tell me what to do. Nah, that's me. I can't cut. Let me put all these commons in the box. Common cards! One of the most underrated things in the world! This knife is like super dangerous, I'm kinda scared. I'm gonna put it over here so I can see it. Not next to all these death boxes. Oh, uh, I forget who it was, but someone always loves collecting these boxes. I'm sure he gets, he can get a hand on these. He loves like, just collecting boxes and putting as a background. I love top loaders. I like collecting top loaders. So if you guys have any, like, you, like the Utopia, like, giant cards, that's what the top loaders are. I would love to grab that off of you. Uh, shoot me an offer or something like that. Be awesome. Totally awesome. I still love Konami for doing that, making calling it totally awesome. I don't know how these people feel about it, but I love it. There's the ultra rare. Oh, ultra rare. The more metaphor. I'm thinking about playing metaphors. I think it's a pretty cool deck. Someone's pointed out like they think it's an engine, not per se a actual archetype. I mean, it is an archetype, right? But the thing is, like, it's not that like uh, super. Uh, actually, no, you can. It's like Shadals, you know? You can spl splash Shadals in any deck. Like Shadal Train. Like back then though, like you can make a like, Shadal, whatever. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Uh, that was very important. What is this? Vermilion Dragon Mech. Oh, I heard about this. Once you advantage, once you from hand, and feel over here, and time for one feel destroyed. This card is someone that can be is destroyed by card effect until the gateway you can target one of the advantage units added to your hand. Hey! This is actually a generic, what is it, 8 or 9? I forget. I think it's 9. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. Oh, wow, 1 and 1. That's really good. That's so good. It works well with blue eyes, white dragons, too. What? What? I'm playing blue eyes, so that's actually really cool. I pulled it, so I'm keeping that. That's a keepsy. Keepsy. Boop. So I got a totally awesome dimensional bear. I need three of those. I think dimensional bears are very good. Dimension uh, totally awesome, maybe one or two. I don't think I need too many. Uh, three is a little overkill. So if I do pull three, it'll be awesome. I would love to pull four, right? Things to be relatively organized. Rare. Pulling these like this rare thing. Uh, I think it's a female that has boobs. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure. I've never seen that. Oh, that's totally awesome. Oh, shit, dude. The brokens. Okay. Uh. Two secret rares, we're done with this box. But ba ba bam So, from the last box, you can notice that we only pulled uh, two secret rares, so I'm gonna assume that it's gonna be two secret rares as this one as well. So, we got all those free packs to use as uh, fodder, I guess you can say. Uh, father For uh, tournament prizes and a whole, st uh, I'll probably do some crazy tournaments for free on the weekends, Saturdays, so that, uh, you know, players can get some practice, team gets practice, it'll be pretty cool. Alright, let's get on to the next box. Let's see here. So, Parker was looking, the team leader, was looking for a pot of 
inquisitiveness is, okay? These are good cards. However, they're super. Super, uh, they're easy to get, right? However, I'm not opening all the supers. And you noticed we only pulled one so far out of the two boxes. Oh, dude! This is the Metapho! This is the Relinquish! What? It's level one Relinquish! Gotta get Swifty! Swifty! Sorry guys, I've been watching uh, Rick and Morty. It's a great show. Uh, I just finished watching all uh, seasons again. Seasons one through, uh, one through two. There's only two seasons, two seasons right now. Uh, so definitely waiting for the third one. Uh, the second season just really brought up like a lot of questions. Uh, about what's happening in there. So, if you haven't watched Rick and Morty yet, you know, definitely check it out. I'd recommend it. I think it's a great show. It, although it's a little assy, like, the show wise, it's pretty, pretty ridiculous. Pretty, pretty, pretty ridiculous. Uh, ah, garbage. And pull garbage. Figure it all out. Come on. One more secret rare. One more secret rare. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. The, one of the best ones. Oh my goodness. Monies. Dude, this is sick. $240 right there at least. Oh, I think we can save all these packs. Oh, I think that's the biggest plus right there, dude. All right. On to the next box. I like being a little bit organized, so I kind of know where everything is. It's very key, I think, uh, especially in life. Uh, again, like I'm in the middle of reorganizing my room. It's a total mess. Like holy moly! Uh, but it's a work in progress, just like how life is, as always. If you don't organize yourself, you'll be lost forever, and it's not very good. But Sometimes a little chaos, is a little, a little bit of organization, and without chaos, there wouldn't be any organization, right? So it's the other way around. I'm talking to myself. So, so, so. I'm also setting up this. Uh, I'm recording with a GoPro right now, so hopefully my cables come in, and I can even live stream this while I'm recording, and I even put a layout on top of it. Oh, what? There's some cool plays with this. I think it's like a rank up or something like that you can do with this. But I'm totally psyched about it just because like I think it's a, I heard good things about it. Can't say it's good, but I heard good things about it. Oh this knife is like woo, woo, a little scary. I think I'm done with that knife actually. <laughs> I don't want to stab myself in the Nova box over. Hey! I'm gonna put this knife. Sorry, Parker. I'm advocating violence. Oh no, just like video games. So that's the fourth one. I don't need a, another one, so that's always good. I have one more secret to pull. Come on, secret. Rare. Come on, secret. Rare. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. That was a gadget. I'm like what? That thing doesn't come in this. Comes dragons unleashed. I think. Yeah. No. I don't remember. Rank up. I heard that was a good card as well. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure. Heard good things. Some Palizoics. My friend is uh, playing some Palizoic, a totally awesome deck. So we'll see how that turns out. I don't personally didn't think it was good. I told him like, uh, not very good. If it was mandatory, like how it was worded, then yeah, oof, 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 it'll be pretty broken. Oh, that third one. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> got my playset. <laughs> Holy shit. I think I'm done opening. Do I even want a chance to open it? I think I already opened all of them, so... Like, I cut them all open. Holy shit. Yo, most broken. That is sick. Yo, kick it out of the way. That's the first thing that happens. I get... I get everything I need. 
and I have six, I have half the case left, so I made back all my money plus a little more. This is sick. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't think I can lose anything out of this. Oh, uh oh. Is that a Pokemon or am I disconnected? Yeah, sounds like it's disconnected. Sorry guys. Uh, my little brother got me a Pogo Plus, so it's it's really awesome. It's super convenient. Uh, so much good about it. I uh, I mean, if if you're a hardcore Pokemon Go player like I am, like I'm level 32 right now, I'm of 33. I mean, I'm sure there's like 36 levels out there, but like, oh, it. It, it, it's, it's so good in the sense that if you're driving, like in a passenger obviously, or even driving in general itself, you can probably catch a Pokemon, even if you like, it's, it's mainly for like if you work in a city, so it's pretty awesome that you can do that. Um, so it allows you know, people that, it, it's inconvenience, um, so that they can focus on the road more. Uh, then they're staring down at their phone, uh, they can stare at the road, feel a vibration, and click it, you know. People with good multitasking skills can probably do it relatively well. Relatively. I can't say they, they always do it well. Uh, man, I, I'm, I'm super happy. I got my play sets and everything. However, I already opened the pack, so therefore I have to continue. Uh, the show must go on! So this one pot of business is going to be going to Parker so far. Uh, maybe if I'm unlucky and I open all the super rares until the last pack for the secret rare, uh, then we'll, we'll move on. So I only have one like really bad box uh, where I had to open all the packs and only got like two, two decent mediocre secret rares. Um, yeah, it's okay. Such is life. As my, as my friend's catchphrase is, such is life. Nothing is always fair. Oh, look at that! Another one! Another one! Let's see these babies up. Uh, what's this? Does it can't shuffle? No, it can't, unfortunately. Hand or field, okay. That's unfortunate. Uh, the, the regular season is obviously a better one. You play three of those, probably, just for the quick, uh, quick play. It doesn't, look, it doesn't look like it has a restriction to it, so that's always good. No. I think I only the one secret rare. The secret rare. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I opened zero secret rares. What? Is that right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow, zero secret rare so far. Whoa, there it is. Hey. Decent one, but I think it's just as good as Rishula. However, Rishula is uncomparable. I just think it's a decent rank 9. I'm oh, sorry, not rank 9, level 9. Uh, better than like Cloud Castle. Although Cloud Castle would be broken. Let's just bring that back, oh my goodness. Field card. Catalyst Field. Gemini's. Interesting. Uh, that's actually very interesting, especially with a lot of field cards being a huge thing now. Uh, it's very important to look into these uh, field cards. Uh, very, very huge, I think. Uh, I mean, even then, like I remember someone uh, at my locals threw away a terraforming super rare when it first came out. Astro Pack, I believe it was Astro Pack One, and I just threw it across the room like, you know, free cards, whatever, pick it up. And now it's a twenty dollar card. Like, are you serious? Like, it's it's creeping. Uh, market creep. It, it's crazy. It's ridiculous. So one secret rare so far. If I pull it, totally... What? Alright, that's pretty good. Um, can't complain with these two cards. I like these two cards. I don't even know what this does. It has the Dark Rebellion Dragon as material. Alright, I'll read it later. I heard it was good. So... I'll assume it is good. I think that's how the how it works, right? Right. All right. All right. Put these packs to the side. Oh, struggle to get them out of the box.
for all the non-relevant whatevers to the side. And it's a uh, this little pretty what? So another box. So it's there's a new architect coming out. Um, I'm not exactly sure. It's like a uh, beast warrior deck. Tankies. Oh my goodness. I mean, tankies were at 25s, and then they shot up to like 40s, and now they're at 60s. It's just again uh, market creeps. I mean, the thing like, with these old cards, everything's just going higher and more expensive. Like Metamorphosis, apparently. Some pointed out it was from like fifty dollars to like close to a hundred now. It's, it's uh, you know slowly creeping up there, creeping, creeping, and eventually it'll get to the point where it, it's like no point of return. Like I mean, look at DT Trishula. It's two hundred dollars right now. And when I bought it online, it was like seventy dollars when it first came back off the list. I was like, thought I was like, oh, all right. And I sold my whole collection again, and I think Trishula was part of it. Uh, this because I knew it was like, a decent money card. Like, I think it would creep up to $200 at the point when I sold it. It's now $200? $200? That would be ridiculous. You should definitely, I mean, if you're a collector or a quote-unquote vendor looking to get some cash out of these things, all the cards, you know, even like Dark Reffer, Secret Rare First. Like, who, who would have thought that would have been a good thing? And now it is, you know? It's crazy. So... If you think a card is good, maybe just take a look at it. Different Dimension Ground now is like $10. Uh, it's a very good card, I think. Uh, if you go first, you can sign it, you can, you can main it. Uh, you go first though, with all this draw power, you can just banish every month of it, send it to the graveyard. Especially those with the cost, it can't activate. Like Burning Abyss cards, it can't mill. Uh, it, it's just terrible for them, and it's it's not a you know it's not a continuous trap card, so it doesn't have to remain face up. It just resolves, and you're basically done. Uh, and effect takes over game mechanics. So what does that mean? Um, Pendulum monsters when they activate metal foes, it, it destroys it, but it gets banished instead. I'm not exactly sure if uh, you can still search uh, set set a card. I believe you can, but that's like what. That card is actually pretty busted. So, for me, I, I bought them when the hype train. I'm, I'm sure it's gonna get reprinted. It's Star Strike Blast. It hasn't gotten a reprint yet. Uh, Star Strike Blast, if you didn't know, was the one set that only comes in first edition. Uh, first edition cards. Like, so if someone has an unlimited one, uh, you wanna, you wanna take a look at them. Make sure they're not, you know, cheating you or anything like that. Uh, I believe that was the first secret rare. Yeah. For a secret rare. So we got another secret rare in here. Another secret rare in here. Shwifty. Gotta get Shwifty. Uh, it goes all the ultra rares, so. Oh, uh, Koi Koi, Super Koi Koi. And then Koi of Fish. I'm not exactly sure. I'm actually kind of interested in the spiral decks. However, I don't, I can't, I can't see it. The, apparently, the archetype isn't competitive enough. I'm not exactly sure. Is it missing a few cards? It's a TCG exclusive, right? So, it looks cool. Super agent, uh, secret service, and that stuff. But, uh, all right. So this last pack is a secret rare. Hopefully, right? Unless I missed out on something. <gasps> Hey, it's a sub tarot card. People are looking for it. Although, it's a very, uh, mm, yeah, it's all right. Can't say, can't say too much about it. All right, let's get all these babies. All right, I did some a little cut and organization. So let's continue back. Again, organization is key to a lot of the things in life. So, let's keep organizing Shwifty. 
change quickly. Garbage. Ultra rare. This is the Yang Zing, new Yang Zing monster. Uh, people haven't picked up Yang Zings in my locals. Looking for them just because they believe it's gonna come back. I remember a lot of Yang Zings days. It was okay. I got beat by a judge friend, I guess you can call it. Uh, he was playing Yang Zings, just played all the floodgates. I'm like, oh, I guess, I guess you win. And I did do nothing that. Uh, that matchup. I was a little salty, obviously. I was playing Necros, only uh, playtesting for a week. So, not the best idea for me, but I learned it deck relatively quick. I did it well, um, I think, for play, like just one week of playtesting and whatnot. So, toot my own horn, you know? Uh, helped. I mean, the same friend helped me that gave me this playmat, uh, how to the deck and things like that gave me a lot of articles so that helped a lot I mean you compare it to like someone that didn't know anything just decided oh don't no, play the deck um, one deck could do that relatively well is uh, blue eyes you just pick it up and play it almost uh, so uh, if I pull another totally awesome it's probably a bad idea for me to just continue opening these boxes but it's a case Oh, and by the way, we pulled the secret rare in the ritual. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what it does. Although, not a lot of people talked about it or hyped it up. So, I'm not gonna look too far into it. Because if I do, then I might get a little bit of. a little bit of. you know. Like, ugh. Get a little salty. Alright. Here we go. I'm gonna pull like five of them. The most ancient and ascended. Uh, ritual cards are I think the two metaphor cards. Alright, let's get on with the next few cards. These packs are good. Next box. Once you open two secret rares, I'm gonna call it a day just because the ultra rares are almost irrelevant, which is unfortunate. Um, I guess if Konami is looking or hearing this, looking at this, I think the ultra rares needs to be a little bit of a buff on the effects. Just the, just the saying out there, you know? I think they tried, although not the best, but it's like, um, they made a few Metapho, like a lap Metapho monster, got me the Yang Zing, so that's kind of cool, uh, but I just don't see it being super popular. Um, easy to get, which is really odd. Uh, back then with the ultimates, made it, the ultra rares were almost, not, I, I, you couldn't play them, basically. Another thing was like hollows tend to bend a lot, and I as a judge, I always put these things out when I do deck checks, and it's just so annoying because I know it's like hollows being bent or things like that. And it's not the player's fault per se, but like, you know, they just trade it and get it bent, and that's the only one they can get. Like, what can you do? It, it sucks as a judge to give out penalties for something that they can't really control. Uh, foils bend. I have a bunch of foils that's just completely bent. It's because of like the humid, like especially in like the Miami area, like uh, humid temperatures, humid weather, uh, it just bends every single card, every foil, every foil. I, I, I come from, I'm coming from Boston, uh, temperatures always changing, always, never stays the same. Uh, I wish I had enough money to have climate control, uh, to, so you can stay one temperature forever. It runs up the bills though, it runs up the bills. And not the buffalo bills, they're garbage. Shots fired. Hey, two secret rares! Uh, again, sub terror. Sub terror cards are decent. Alright. Separate. 
of the pop. Part of Quizinus are like I believe five dollars right now, so that's always a good thing uh, for me. <laughs> but you know, two more boxes, baby. set as you know we are all adults with adult lives well, not all of us are adults but oh actually no, all of us as in like team chocolate yes we are all adults but viewers wise you guys range from a large group of people so especially a lot of overseas guys so it's always awesome to see people comment and talk about different things from different countries This is surprising that it came so late. I think our, I think we're done with the totally awesome dimension uh, barriers. Let me stick to pull another dimension barrier. Oh, I'm so sick of it. It's just talking about it. Just pull a dimension barrier. I think dimension barrier is a little bit more useful than the totally awesome. Uh, obviously, because it's a regular trap card. Like the trap cards are good, They're very good. Especially when you can choose what you want to do with the options. Huh. So I've done a bit of a part of quizzes. That's a lot of mouthful of quizzes. I think it was again said it earlier, uh, part of Avidity, that was the original name, changed it up, I don't know why, I think Avidity is just a good, weird thing, Inquisitiveness is a better, like more well-known word I guess, I'm not exactly sure what the reason behind it is, I mean it's the same thing as the part of, uh, shoot, what's the, what's the one that came out, draw to, banished him, draw to, I can't remember, unfortunately uh, this card does, uh, has to be banished monsters, so face downs does not work. Very, very, very sad. So it works well with PA. Aye. One secret rare. Uh, uh, uh. See, I don't know if you guys watch Mr. Robot. Mr. Robot is an awesome show. I have not watched season two yet, and that's like, it, it finished. I still haven't watched it yet. I can tell my friends that, like, dude, I'm sorry, man, I can't talk about Mr. Robot with you. He hates me for it. Hates me. It's okay, though. What is a little bit of hate? Oh, no. Not the last pack again. Now, is there, is there a pattern to this? I feel like there might be. The last pack? Oh, my goodness. So, I've had... This is the third, like, last pack. Uh, kind of deal. I wonder if it's gonna stay true. Uh, but this is the third one though, so it's kind of like, eh. I don't know. I uh, can't really tell. Oh no, I jinxed myself. I said I was gonna get four of these things, and I did. Man. I do that to myself a lot. Last box! What? Oh yeah, if you haven't watched, watched Central Intelligence, totally give it a shot. I think it's pretty fun. It's pretty hilarious. Alright. 
Let's look for another dimension slice. We're totally awesome. Totally awesome. They, they, I'm sure everyone knows this was from Tree Toad or something like that. And also, uh, they have to change the name of Frog the Jam to something else because it's not an actual frog. So they call it Slime Toad now or something like that. Uh, so, it's weird with the translations with the Konami back then and now. Frog the Jam, I think it was a McDonald's special card. So, just now, I think it was like, what? Ten dollars because they thought that the frog parts with it. Uh, don't blame them, like because it's a. Uh, it says frog on it, right? But now they changed it to slime toad. So a lot of name changes, especially like Harpy's brother, it was not an actual Harpy, so they changed it to like uh, I forget what it was. But it's a weird name now. So like any of those Harpy brothers, are pretty sick. Oh my goodness, I totally jinxed myself. Dude, I better not get like another that weird secret rare. Unfortunately, three dimension slices are keeping to myself. Maybe I should sell at the hype price, alright? <laughs> I don't think it can go down. I mean, extra deck is all like the thing. Extra deck. After this, I'm going to give a quick summary of all this stuff, and, and hopefully you guys can see the secret rare ratios. Definitely don't know the ultra rares because um, I did not open all the packs. I stopped it after I hit the two secret rares. I don't care too much, again, for the ultra rares. Uh, of course, the Yang Zings. Oh, there it is! I can't, I can't complain too much. I pulled whatever I needed. So, alright. Let's get to the summary. Alright, so here's the summary of the pulls we did with whatever packs we opened. There's about uh, four and a half boxes of packs left that I have not opened yet. So, from the secret rares, which is exactly 24, I believe, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 24. So, we've got all 24 secret rares that is supposedly in these boxes. They may be more, they may be less. I mean, it can't be less because, you know. So, uh, let's see here. We've got two of the sub, sub, sub terror level three guys, the metal foe relinquished, uh, XC's, uh, quite the, the, the Requiem Dragon, Requiem. Requiem. Uh, we got the Dark Fusion guy, the two, uh, the Venom, which is pretty sick. We got the uh, level 9 generic 1 on 1. We got a Ritual Monster here, the two totally awesome 3 dimensional bears. These all keeps these, so unfortunately, I'll probably keep one, one, uh, maybe two of these, and etc. Maybe two of these guys. I think they're pretty good. You see the Ultra Rares that we pulled here? I think this card may go up. Uh, some Sub Terra stuff here. Uh, we got some Yang Zing cards, not very good. Gemini, I just think Gemini Monsters might be a thing. Some Metaphors and 10 Inquisitivenesses. Again, I have four and a half boxes left, so there are probably like 10 more in there. Uh, these three is going to Parker, one's for myself, and then the rest is two play sets for trade and or sell. Um, so this is the summary of all the secret rares. Again, we can look at it, it's pretty straightforward, and uh, even except for this guy, I jinxed myself. Anyway, so this is what I, uh, the ratios looks like. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, remember to check out Blow Cards. We have, this is the guys that uh, gave us the case. Uh, use the discount code Yu-Gi-Oh 16. Uh, it should be in the link description below. Just check it out down there. Uh, and you know, what do you think about this set? Um, obviously these two cards are the most broken. Um, everyone knows it. So let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. This is Alan, signing up.